Hi everyone, another Monster Invasion video review here and it's issues 24 and 25 I believe, just check. Yes, it's issues 24 and 25 of Monster Invasion. So if we just get everything that's in the bag out. Go and put the bag to one side. So we've got issues 24 and 25. So there's 24. There's 25. I'll just put them together. There. You two packs, one for each. And the next for your gift. So I'm managing to I'm managing to keep the gifts up. And this is gift two, three, four out of five. And it's the uh, Sonic uh, Squirty Screwdriver. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. So if we get 24 out and have a quick look through as we normally do, we'll see that it's issue 24 as I said. It's got the Headless Monks on the front, so Hooded Horrors, Headless Monks versus the Hoiks. And inside we've got Jadoon Gadgets. The uh, Where's Doctor, you know, the Where's Wally style this week is in Storm Cage. And Forest Frights. So, there you go, you've got your normal what magazines about and uh, the games they, they put a game in. And what does the Doctor have to say this time? Lots of people talk to cats. <laughs> uh, then... You've got your your online promotion and you crack your code and you can either use it, you know, to download bits and bobs or to play the games and have a quick look and see if I can work out maybe what this one is. Uh, S A T S A T. Um, not sure on that one. I'll uh thinking of filling it in actually. Uh T U yeah. Don't know. Not sure on that one. Um then the top ten in this issue is top ten Smith and Jones. Have you ever noticed that the Who universe is packed with people called Smith and Jones? We've picked ten of our faves. So ten, Mr. Smith. Number nine, Sky Smith. Eight, Harriet Jones. Seven, Joe Jones. She was um, called Joe Grant and then got married. Uh, six is Luke. Five is Mickey. Four is John Smith, of course the Doctor's uh, alias name. Three, Martha. Two, John Smith again. And number one, and it's not surprising, and it's damn right in, uh, it's Sarah Jane Smith. One of the Doctor's best friends, Sarah Jane Smith, has helped him out of several sticky situations over the years. She even helped him stop Davros from destroying the universe with a reality bomb. Of course, there's Canine there as well. Fact attack, Sarah Jane grew up with her Aunt Lavina after her parents died, but did you know she was afraid of clowns? And next time it's the top 10 strongest monsters. Then this time around the gadget um, double page spread is on the Jejun um, technology. So the Jejun scan and blaster. Jejun. 
did you know the species scanner can also be used to scan machinery? There's some uh, information on it. Did you know did you have power to execute anyone they want without a trial? Have you got the Judean card? And then next issue is the Genesis Arc, which uh, is Dalek technology. Then you've got your verses, and as it is as usual, it's what's on the front. So it's the Headless Monks and the Hoigs, and of course I'm going to go for the Headless Monks. But just have a quick look at the stats for anyone interested. And yes, it's the Headless Monks. I don't know if I can just turn up where you can have a quick look. Then the episode guard is on the Doctor, the Widow and the Wardrobe, which was the last episode, was it? Yeah. Christmas special and uh, what's the story when Madge Elwell helped the doctor after he crashed to earth he tried to repay her and her two children with an extra special Christmas but the present he left under the tree was far more exciting than a pair of woolen socks and the best bits Let's move my finger out of the way Oops. Oops. And he was in the episode, you know. And of course that was a good bit of the beginning of the Doctor. Goes uh, crash landing out the ship. Then it's the Where's Wally style. And as I said, it's Storm Cage. And this issue, you've got to find the Doctor, River, Amy, Hallucinating Guard, Stick River, Tardis and Rory. A bit like in the episode, obviously. Uh, though I don't think Rory was in that episode where she escaped. Um, and as usual, I can never find these, or find them and forget. Um, there's River anyway, down here. There's some what looks like gangers over here actually. There's Amy. There's the doctor. And I can't seem to find any more at the moment. And your A to Z of aliens. This week it's Alice for Laszlo. Did you know who was a real place for the t and out in Central Park, New York. And that's what it used to look like. And then what they did to me, obviously look like that.
the next uh, issue it's uh, Anna's from LV Pond then you've got your usual puzzles at the back and this issue it's uh, the word search so Amy has faced lots of monsters on her travels can you find these 10 scary aliens in the word search then uh, the heavenly hosts are experiencing some technical difficulties which aliens are they discussing That one's the Doctor. That one is uh, the Weeping Angels. That's Silence. That's, um, I can't remember, the Family of Blood, is it? And they're talking about themselves there. And then here, can you match the moments that happened in the same episode? So, um, Amy finds a handbot, Amy visits a beautiful garden, Rory becomes enchanted, that's the siren one, three, playing chess, silent bubbles in a tank of water, and four, stingrays attack, a bus flies. So, um, the girl who waited, uh, the episode called the Siren One, the Pirate One, with a song, the wedding with a song, and Planet of the Dead. And then on the back, so next time in part 25, the stinkiest planet ever. That was in the Planet of the Dead. Um, for the Where's Wally, the Where's Doctor Style. The Runaway Bride shocks. So the episode guide is obviously the Runaway Bride, and the verses is the Cigarax versus the Dark Horde. I just put that to one side. So there's issue 25. And as I've just said, the Dark Horde versus the uh, Sigrax. The Genesis Arc is the technology gadgets. The Runaway Bride is the episode guide. And the top 10 strongest monsters. So as usual, you know, the games and stuff. What does he say this time? Your ship is much bigger than mine and I don't have the cool boots or a hat, even. <laughs> then you crack the code. As I've just said, you know, you can download things or you can crack things in the games. Um, let's see if I can have a look and work which one this is. Let's see. Why? I'm possibly thinking Carrier Knight off the top of my head, but could be wrong. Begins with a C anyway. From the top 10 strongest moments. If it's strength, you'll have to check out this collection of Mighty Monster Muscle. 10, the ultimate upgrade. 9, Mighty Minotaur. Eight, the, it's the Weeping Angels, Angel Force. Seven, it's the Slitheen, Slitheen Strength. Five, Powerful Reapers. Six, rather, sorry. Five, Ultimate Evil. Four, Cybercolors. Three, Rhino Rumble. Two Molten Monsters and one the Daleks. The Daleks have been terrifying the human universe for centuries, but their new pure DNA form is mega frightening and stronger than ever before. Before the rebirth, the Daleks last saw the Daleks when Daphrus resurrected them. The duplicate doctor wiped them out in a massive explosion. And there's the Genesis Arc. There's a bit of a dark uh, theme there. Did you know the Doctor didn't know what the Genesis Arc was for until it opened?
Time Lord Science, it's bigger on the inside. Next time it's the Time Lord Psychic Container. Then you've got your verses, the Dark Cord and the Sigrax. Um I'll go with the Sigrax. And the Sigrax it is. And the Runaway Bride is the sub for the episode guy. What's the story? When Donna is snatched from her wedding and appears in the TARDIS, the Doctor is mystified. Was it just an accident or is Donna part of a large plan which we later turned out to be true? Hatched by an ancient evil buried deep beneath the earth. And the best bits. Donna is given out by a robe before Santa in the taxi. To escape, she leaps from a speeding cab into the TARDIS. When Donna returns to her wedding reception, she discovers a killer Christmas tree with exploding baubles. To make matters worse, Donna's fiancé reveals he's in league with the Ragnos and has been lacing her drinks with hue and particles. And for... The doctor uses the human particles to escape and drains the Thames dry to wash the Ragnos babies down the plug hole into the centre of the earth. And who was in the episode of course, and then there uh, have you got the, the Christmas adventure card. Then you've got your yeah. Where's Wally? Tretnavore, I can't remember what the planet was called, but it's it was in the planet of the dead. And you've got to find in this one the Doctor, Stingray, Rory, Amy, Tardis, Pooh Snowman, <laughs> and Red Eyed Trevor. Uh, it's funny because, like I said, they put other things in these as well, so it's like home stinky home there. And a restaurant, you know, um, but there's the doctor up there. There's Amy down there. So, then the age set of aliens. My M is from Melody Pond. Melody Pond is Amy and Rory's daughter, a child of the TARDIS conceived in the time vortex. She has both human and Time Lord DNA. That means she's part Time Lord. Did you know Amy named her daughter after her friend's Mel, not realising Mel's was in fact her daughter? And next time it's the master, so it's still M. Then you've got your, you know, puzzles, and this time it's a bit of a quiz. I think that's A. A again. The, that was the Time Lord, so that was B. A. A. 
a bees demons run B and then now the test selector can you work out what the test selector or who the test selector is turning into so that's Idris I think the first one second one I'm not sure on and the third one I think it's a Solarian who am I? Guess who these Firefox are describing? I, I think this is Sarah. Yeah, Sarah Jane Smith. I have known different doctors. I was taken over by Androids. I had a spider on my back. I'm scared of clowns. A canine lived with me. That's Sarah Jane Smith. And then next time in 26, it's Emma's for Master, as we said. The new Daleks taking on the Imperial Daleks which should be very interesting and it's the girly weighted um, I can't remember the name of the planet two streams facility for the where's, Doc where's the doctor where's Wally style put that together so then the gift was a sonic um, squirty screwdriver so I'm just going to get that out the packet so all out the packet then so it actually looks very much like the screw doctor screwdriver doesn't open up but obviously um, that's where the water squirts out there's no instructions but if you have a look you can it's pretty much easy to see in there you take that out just like a, a little thing and in there that's probably where you fill up with water how much water I, I don't know uh, and then you put that back on and then obviously down here you get it you know and you go like that and you can hear there's a bit of air and obviously it's filled with if it's filled with water the water's obviously going to come out um, so it's quite fun I suppose I'm not really fussed um, I'm more into it as being a bit of a screwdriver look alike, uh, look -like. Um, so I suppose that is pretty cool though and they had one like this in um, a Doctor Who Adventures magazine and it actually was a lot shorter so I think it's pretty cool so again put that to one side so as usual as I leave to the end opening the packets so just put the camera down Put this rubbish to the one side, and there we go. So this time round, we've got alien bogies, which I think I have got. Exterminated eleventh doctor. Again, I think I have that. Bracewell. I think I've got it. Egg dolls, which I probably have got. I've got most of them now. I think I've only got about ten cards to get. Um, Doctor in disguise. The mind tour I've got. Wilford Mott I've got. Antibodies I've got. Sycorax I've got. Ood Sigma. I think I've got, you know, um, Lazarus I've got, Ganga Goo I've got, Gangas I've got, John Smith which I've got, The Last Centurion which I've got, I can't even pronounce that, um, which one's this, I think I've got that. Reapers, I know I've got that, and Dickon, which I know I've got, so actually I haven't really got any of them, which is a bit of a disappointment. Um, 
So there you go. So that was uh, Quick Rouge issue 24, issue 25, the two packs that came with it, and the free gift this time around, which was a squirty sonic screwdriver. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.